What's up guys, Trevor Hunter here with Dirt Bike Test. Today we have Tyler Belknap and we are riding a couple of the 2024 KTM XEWs. The XEW lineup is the off-road, wide ratio, kind of enduro trail bike lineup and in KTM's vast uh, model model lineup. And uh, yeah, today he's got an all new revamp for 2024 with new chassis, new motors, uh, new bodywork, new suspension even, uh, basically, brand new from the ground up. I think the wheels, maybe some handlebars, about the only thing that kind of transfer over from the old bike. So today we're gonna to kind of do a quick overview of all these bikes, kind of how they performed, and what we thought of them today at the Cahuilla Creek, Cahuilla Creek MX and riding the off-road loop. Um, so starting off, these bikes are actually really good for what they're designed to do, which is kind of trail riding, or kind of slow speed single tracks and fire road stuff. Um, we actually we hit the VET motocross track here at Kuiya because it's pretty mellow. Um, that's probably more on the extreme end of what it's designed to do, but we kind of gave that a go just to see how it performed. And uh, overall, really impressed. Yeah, even like you said in the moto, I, I was impressed that it handled as well as it did, uh, even though that they're not designed for that, but in the single track and more off-road technical type stuff, these bikes were amazing and one of the most fun bikes to go ride out there for sure. Yeah, just between the motor and the suspension, everything is super, kind of for what they are, um, kind of the softer suspension, you soak up a lot of that smaller chop better, um, kind of go over the rock, rocks and the roots, and that motor is super smooth power on all these bikes, but it has enough power to where you don't really, it's not falling on its face so much, and you're not struggling to kind of get the bike in and out of the corners and the, and the whoops and the ruts. Um, you kind of have just enough power to get through that stuff, but not enough to kind of rip your arms off and make it unrideable. Um, so KTM did a really good job with all these bikes, just making that, that power delivery super smooth. Uh, it's definitely more of a bottom to mid motors, uh, especially you know, just being the off-road kind of enduro bikes. Um, if you're looking for a rever, these bikes aren't the ones, but if you're looking for smooth power, easy to ride, that really like, I don't see these bikes needing any modifications to make them faster for what they're designed to do. No, absolutely not. I mean, just I started off on kind of like the smaller two strokes in the beginning and then got over to the 450 and and I was a little worried the 450 would be too much and that tight stuff, but every single motor just carried its own and it never felt overbearing like Trevor said, but it, it would just pull its own and just kind of go through everything perfectly. Like it was just a really good feeling bike, all, all three of them through all that tight single track type stuff. And like Trevor said, they just floated nicely over those smaller bumps and stuff, but they're, they're really good bikes out here in the in the tight and a little more off-roady type stuff. Yeah, kind of move on to the handling. A uh, big thing is these bikes all kind of ditched that Explorer fork and shock and now have exact components. So the front has a closed cartridge coil spring fork, which is basically like a race spec fork. Uh, same one that comes on the XC lineup now. And so that's as good as it gets as far as the KTM and WP stuff goes. And the shock is obviously, it's a, a PDS shock, so there's no linkage on these bikes. Um, so it's a little different from the XE shocks, but it's the same kind of idea and components. And uh, overall, they worked really well too. Yeah, absolutely. This was my first time riding a PDS rear shock like that, and I was really impressed with it. I didn't know how it would react or anything. And, and it was honestly really comfortable when I got on it. And I also enjoy that all all the suspension clickers are you can do by hand, which KTM's had out now for a while now, but it's still one of my favorite things that KTM has. It just makes it easy. You don't have to get sketchy, like putting your screwdriver in the boot like the old days. It's just nice and easy, just a few clicks, and, and you can do it on the trail while we're out there. Yeah, no, they uh, they worked really well. I personally didn't change any clickers. Um, obviously, it's a little on the softer side for what I'm used to, being more of a racer, kind of riding a lot of more race bikes. but. For the trail riding purpose that we were doing, they worked really, really well. Uh, you hit some bigger whoops and kind of some bigger G outs and stuff like that. Didn't handle those quite as well, but that's really not as typical, I feel like, for most, most trail riders. Um, you're hitting more of the small chop, kind of screw edges, bumps, rocks, roots, that kind of stuff. And to me, they soaked it up really well. Um, even with stock clickers, we just kind of set the sag and then she rode all day and uh, didn't have much much issue there. Yeah, overall the handling of these bikes too, super nimble, super lightweight feeling, kind of for what they are. These are much heavier than the uh, kind of the motocross off-road race specific bikes, just with all the lights and the computers and kind of some of the extra modifications that they do to these bikes. But still super light and nimble, playful, super easy to move, maneuver through that tight single track. 
Uh, it almost felt like mountain bike-ish. We just kind of just turning the handlebars, kind of lean, waiting the foot pegs to get around these tight corners super quick and easy, not use a whole lot of energy. So that was uh, super fun today as well. So that's kind of a, a quick first impression on this kind of the overall character of all these bikes. We'll have a separate kind of first impression videos on each of these bikes as well. Um, because it's a little more in-depth to each bike. But we're gonna get a quick kind of overview of how all these bikes are with kind of the new changes. And uh, yeah, it was a good successful first day of riding here at Kuia Creek on the 2024 KTM XCWs. And we hope to get some of these bikes more long-term, uh, maybe some other KTM models, do some comparisons, um, kind of go with maybe some PDS versus linkage bikes, uh, and kind of just put these bikes through its paces because it's a new platform, a really solid design we feel like just based on our first day of riding. And uh, we're really looking forward to seeing what we can do with these in the future and kind of getting them on some more familiar territory. But until then, stay tuned to dirtbiketest.com and we'll see you out on the trail. If you liked what you saw in this video, come check us out over at dirtbiketest.com on the webs. We have bike tests, product tests, a lot of fresh dirt, and you can even support us by clicking through our links. Hopefully we'll see you out in the trail.